So this is uh, going to be a, a brief presentation on smart energy meter. It's basically a smart energy meter means uh, the domestic, uh, everybody is familiar with at the home what we get installed and uh, where the power gets measured, the energy gets measured. So it's a very low end application at uh, the design is uh, to be very competitive in terms of price and in terms of uh, the market leaders already existing. So it's uh, as old and uh, maybe last, I think, 150 years to 200 years, we are using electricity. And uh, it's an attempt here to use a risk five uh, uh, based processor uh, to try to see that how this type of very low end applications uh, it can be useful. Uh, so let me just go. So this is the agenda of the uh, presentation. So about uh, some introduction to about mass ship, what it is and uh, what. Second is about the energy meter what it is and uh, what are the constituents in that. Then the third part covers, we named it as the Vidyut, the chip, that's what we are going to make, is named as Vidyut, and the details about that particular IC, and uh, how we plan to build the smart energy meter ecosystem in India. So though it appears to be a very small, simple IC, but I think there is a lot of uh, logistics part that we need to develop around it. So that's the reason I said uh, the ecosystem development is very, very important. It's about MarsShip. So MarsShip is uh, a roughly about, I think, 25 years old company, 24 year old company. Started somewhere in 1999 in Hyderabad. And then it went to public in uh, 2003. And from then on, it is uh, continuing in this space. So I can say this is the only public uh, listed company uh, in the Bombay Stock Exchange, uh, which is in the space of uh, VLSI and the chip design. So, in 2008, I think time frame, 2008 to 2012 time frame, that's where MassChip has made many chips and uh, shipped them in millions uh, across the world. Uh, those connectivity chips are more, at that time, the PCA connectivity, USB connectivity, and uh, serial port, parallel port connectivities, so at that time. So those are the uh, shippings done over the years. And then later, it turned and focused more on the mixed signal IP and embedded systems. So as I compare at this point of time, it's about 1,200 people based out of Hyderabad. And we have two arms. One is the, the semiconductor arm, and another is the embedded systems arm, which we believe are essential when you wanted to make a product. And uh, we are in the product space. And on the semiconductor side, we do the full turnkey uh, services to multiple customers uh, across the world, including the, the front end and the back end and the analog. And on the embedded side also, we have the capability to develop the full-fledged, uh, the board, the board design, and then the embedded software and the full application stack development. And this is the ecosystem partners. We work with uh, major the EDA vendors, major US clients, and FABs, so the TSMC Global Foundries and uh, Tower, and the packaging groups. So end to end, we, we are uh, capable of, or at least we know and we have the knowledge to develop a chip right from the spec and uh, right from the architecture to uh, final end product with all the software around it and to deliver it as a full-fledged application. 
So these are some of the products which we developed earlier. So it lists uh, PCI connectivity, USB connectivity, uh, PCIe, and then the full SOCs. So this is a history about uh, MOSFET. I just move on to the next one. So this is something uh, in this section I talk about something on the SME or the smart energy meter. So electrical energy measurement for residential and industrial consumers. This is where this particular chip is useful. And there will be multiple variants of this chip uh, to meet uh, different uh, requirements. And it's a fully electronic measurement. So that's where uh, historically these uh, meters are electromechanical. But uh, I think last 30, 40 years, they have been converted to fully electronic measurement. And uh, these meters are uh, having standards defined across the globe. I think more last uh, 100, 150 years, there are multiple standards that got developed uh, across the globe. Because one is a global standard, at the same time, there are local variations, what uh, globally made are used across the globe. So, and uh, we have uh, leaders in the market like uh, TI and uh, Renaissance and XP and lock devices. So these are all the people. When we want to make a chip, we have to compete with these people. And uh, internationally, we should be in a position to sell the chip competing with these leaders in the market who have established for the last 40, 50 years in the market. It needs to go uh, stringent certification process. Uh, so this is the background in which uh, we set our chip to be made. So this uh, diagram gives uh, something of the smart energy meter, where you have uh, A as shown as the metering uh, area. The metering is nothing but the metrology, and uh, that is where the chip comes into picture. So most of the metrology or the metering part is going to be get implemented in the IC. The, uh, the B is a load switch. Basically, it's a uh, switching the power. And C is the data exchange protocol. So basically, after metering, you need to send the data uh, through a exchange protocol which is also defined and uh, standardized. And then D is more uh, for communicating to the external world. So when you want to communicate to the external world, it can be multiple uh, standards. And uh, because as the technology is getting developed, so a lot of uh, VAN, uh, NAN area, NAN neighborhood networks, and uh, fully uh, wireless networks, wide networks, a lot of things have come. So that's why the D part, they kept it a more flexible thing. And when the D part gets added to this meter, it becomes a smart energy meter. That's where the smartness can come in communicating the things and controlling the meter or doing so many other things uh, with the meter, the, all that communication protocol comes into picture. So this is the uh, overall we need to, our IC, though we are doing on the metering part and on the communication part. So each of them has to be separately dealt with and separately meet the standards that are defined globally. So the implementation is more, as I said, the, the metrology or the metering protocol. And it's a for single phase measurements as well as for the polyphase measurements. And data exchange protocol is uh, typically very simple uh, serial interface protocol. And the uh, external com communication, as I said, is independent. So people can have it as a pluggable module. They can go with a, the, wild, uh, the mobile communication GPRS modules. Or they can go with a Wi-Fi. Or they can go with a, any other proprietary protocols for communicating. Design is, as I said, very challenging because it has to cover the multiple classes. Means that in the residential itself, there are multiple, uh, the power consumption 
rates are different. So they're defined into multiple classes. It has to cover all those classes. And when it comes to industry, industry requirements are something different. So covering all these uh, requirements of uh, current, uh, right from maybe 5 amperes to nearly 500 amperes range, uh, is a challenge. And uh, design is also a challenge because it's very highly cost competitive market. As I said, with leaders we have to compete and uh, very, very cost competitive. So that is about the meter. And then the third portion, I'm just going to with uh, technical details. So this, uh, this is a rough block diagram. And uh, the things in, uh, I don't know, it's showing, it's supposed to show in two different colors. It's, uh, anyway, the top ones are the IP that is developed at uh, MOSCHIP. And the bottom, bottom ones is uh, the IP that is licensed from CDAC. It's a very simple, uh, it's not a complex uh, IC. So, because a very, at the same time, it's a low end application and a very low power application. So, it means that we have uh, 16 32 bit uh, controllers, and uh, uh, typically 16 32 bit uh, low power operators we use 16 32 and uh, low frequency and uh, very less cache and uh, simple computation. So, this is what typically a low end application needs. And here we try to partner with CDAC. And the CDAC has a Vega series uh, RISC V core. And we wanted to use that. And along with that, we wanted to also use uh, the all their uh, subsystem components. And uh, this is proven already in 130 nanometer, the RISC V core. And we have, uh, they have also in house uh, metering application. And uh, nominal fee. So because these are the reasons which made us to choose uh, CDAC as a partner. And all this IP at uh, MassChip it is developed indigenously. All the ADCs and uh, other controllers, whatever is required, all the analog part is developed at MassChip. Because uh, the analog is the critical one and which because we wanted to have a series of products on this line. We wanted to make it indigenous totally. And the analog IP is anyway, is the critical part for uh, price competitiveness and uh, further down. And it's a fully, fully indigenous product. There is nothing that is coming from external here. So, and we are uh, also in wanted to build the full SEM ecosystem the ecosystem is basically uh, the Marship and the CDAC and the ministry and the government and the distributors. So this ecosystem we wanted to make in and uh, wanted to be part of the Made in India, Make in India initiative. And the highlights are, so all partner companies are 100% from India. And uh, the project is initiated towards self-reliant India and uh, achieving self-sufficiency in utility metering market. So this is utility metering. And a step towards uh, developing a complete chip ecosystem in India. And it helps in savings, a lot of uh, foreign exchange for India. That's it. It's a brief. Thank you.